I grew up in a poor working class neighborhood of Palermo and as a kid I'd seen everything. <laughs> Drug dealers, mobster, thieves and <laughs> criminals of all kinds operating 364 days a year. The only day they don't work is on the day of the patron saint Rosalia veneration, July 14th. On this special day, all of these criminals suddenly turn into massive observants ready to atone for all their sins. They join the true practicing Christians in a six hour long procession screaming every five minutes Hurra Santa Rosalia! and praying with such intensity that they appear to be possessed. <laughs> For some insane reason, this gentleman believed that cheering the saint by screaming some sort of football chant can redeem 364 days of sin. Now, what are they getting this idiotic belief, you might well ask? It doesn't take a degree in theology to understand that Rosalia is certainly not an absolver of sins, nor the patron saint of criminals either. The story of Rosalia tells that she was a wealthy medieval Sicilian noble who at some point said bye-bye to everyone and retired to be a nun at the Pellegrino Mount and dedicate her life to the Lord. Centuries after her death, in 1624, when Palermo was hit by the plague, the spirit of Rosalia appeared in a dream to a poor plague patient and asked for a favor. She said, my dear, find my bone remains in the cave of Pellegrino Mount where I died and carry the bones in procession through the city. You and all the sick people will be healed. The poor patient couldn't believe his eyes and faster than a frightened her run down by a pack of wolves, he rushed to the cave. As soon as the man did what she said, as if by magic the plague was eliminated. Oh my God, Santa Rosalia, it worked! Palermo is in debt to you forever, the poor man burst out in disbelief. And since then the procession has been held every July 14th. A big celebration takes place during which the entire city moves to the streets to celebrate Santa Rosalia. Now, the true Christians of Palermo firmly believe that by continuing this ritual they are liberating everyone from the evils that afflict humanity. While scoundrels and jailbirds are convinced that Santa Rosalia empties their sin bin to make room for new sins. In fact, all of those criminals go back to their lives of crime the very next day, and <laughs> just as though nothing had happened. The idea is that next year Santa Rosalia will erase their sins again. Who knows, maybe these low lives are right and the only credit who's not taking advantage of this sin bonus. You know what? To play it safe, next July 14th I'm gonna scream Hurra Santa Rosalia louder than anybody else. After all, having some extra space for new scenes <laughs> never hurt anyone.